afternoon, guys and girls, and welcome. Sorry, there's no title display on this one because I'm using my phone. Right. Right, what we're going to do today, we're going to go, if I get rid of my ugly mug, uh, go to the other camera. There we go. Right, we're on. We're going to use it, we're going to mess about with this. Uh, we've got our Peep album from uh, the Lady Killers, which obviously I've got their full permission. Uh, to use uh, Got nobody in yet Got no tripod guys, so it's going to be a bit wobbly So we've got no tripod So it's going to be a bit wobbly, but I do apologize So we put that sleeve onto that to there Right no tripod guys unfortunately So sorry, it's a bit wobbly but we will get there, so we'll put that in to the pulse that into the machine. There you go, guys. We've got our pause button pressed, and we've got our cassette leader through. We should have, yeah, we're prepared. We're using a Memorex cassette, guys. Memorex cassettes were shit, but it'll do the job. Pulse that back into there. Press play and record. We're already set with the record level here. That one's a bit high. That's about right. So we're already set there. So we'll press play and record on our machine. We'll press photo. And what we'll do now, we'll press open and close. I always help this up because the gears are 40 odd years old now and they're very brittle. Let's turn the volume down a bit. And this is Peep and by the Lady Killers. Well, the, the, well this song isn't, this song's, uh, what's this first one called? Do you know what I can't remember guys. It's a nice album this, I like it. It's pretty good. Oh it is called Peep. Yes. I thought it was. Chat, let's see if there's any chat there. But it'll pop up if there is. Don't know why one's higher than the other. Maybe the way this record's recorded. Because it is stereo, so. Move back a bit, there we go. Oh, what an idiot! Oh, I, I, I forgot to start the tape, guys. I can't start it again. I asked X, good to see you, mate. I've got to start it again. I forgot to take it off pause, did I? So what we'll do, we'll press play. Take it off pause. I forgot to take the bloody cassette deck off pause. There we go in now, guys. Just 
<laughs> yeah, it was. I thought it was a cracking bit of dust cover. There you go. Yeah, I can't talk you really later, Karen. You have enjoy your cheeky pine. Let's turn this down. Yeah, you enjoy your pint. Yeah, I think that should be a bit higher that level on that side, but. I might not have put the knobs back on quite a level. Anyway, I'm not worried. Oh, that went up there then, there we go. Yeah, it's the way the record's done. I'm, I'm doing this so that I can, so I've got a tape I can play in my tape decks. Anyway, let's give you a tour of the dining room, shall we? I might even give you a tour of the whole place yet, but it's, excuse the mess, I've not tidied up. Anyway, there's my bookcase, and in there are my reference books. Not that I ever need them, but they're there, because you never know. Got some CBs under there, and there's the remains of a radio. And if we turn around, we've got the Amstrad TS90 uh, there, which is fully working. And it's all, it also has it also has the remote control with it as well. Full remote control. Uh, but what I did with this, set the records off there for a minute. I took the original deck out of it. There's all sorts of shit knocking about in here. I took the original deck out of this cabinet. This is a cabinet for a TS30. I took, a, I took the cabinet, I took the original deck out and put that nice BSR one in it because uh, it's much better and it works better and it's a nice heavy deck. The other one was shit. And then if I open the door, I'm not going to turn it on, there's not really any point. But there we go guys, it's got a bit scratched there where I've been taking this in and out to do work. But yeah, we're good. It's got a full logic tape deck on it and everything, that is not bad uh, for an Alan Sugar shitter. And then we've got this here. I call this the boat anchor, I'm not sure what it actually is, but it came out of a boat, came off a ship. I got this off Steve, it's a marine receiver. Um, but uh, I've no aerial in it at the moment. The aerial unusually goes in the front there. No aerial at the moment. And I've got a box of whatnots there. There's all sorts of stuff on the top here. Uh, a handheld frequency counter at the back there. We've got a, a Handmaster mic. A Handmaster 4500. A desk mic. Let's turn the power on on this. We're not gonna do anything, but it's on. Let's turn it on. And that one there's not plugged in, I don't think. No. Uh, that's my uh, CRT uh, Superstar uh, SS. I think I think I think this. I think the SS stands for Superstar. Uh, 6900 uh, which is uh, I don't know if there's anybody on I don't want to key it up it might interfere with that let's just try it hello hello 
Hello, is anybody on here? No. Won't be on until later. But let's uh, let's have a look on. Uh, let's have a look on triple five. See if anybody's there. So we want high band. Turn the volume down a bit. There. Yeah, that's UK. We'll go to nineteen. There's nobody on nineteen. Unusual. Let's go to triple five. We want SSB. There we go. Triple five. Uh, should be there. Yeah, there's no one on triple five either. No one on there either, guys. To, I'm about to mid band. Couldn't have foreign stations. Couldn't have foreign stations. A flip round anyway. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's We'll see if there's anything a bit clearer and we'll put a call on. Just check some and make sure there's nobody on 36 because a couple of my friends come on here. So I'll just shout in. Hello, is there anybody on 36? Got to speak to Andy. Come on, guys. Yeah, I've got a Handmaster for twenty four thousand two hundred uh, connected to this. These are usually badges as Leesons. Uh, they're good microphones. Very good microphones. Let's see if we can find anyone else. No, let's go back. Turn the squelch off.
to turn that off. Right, and this here is my other computer. And this is my test station for checking FM radios. Uh, we, we've got that. We've got the little transmitter there. That's that little transmitter I put new sockets on the other week. There's my 270s. Uh, my little EA suit needs a bit of a polish. It's got a few marks on it. needs a polish. Everything does. Uh, this is, let's turn this on, see if anything's doing on here. <clears throat> see what we've got going on on here. That's the air band. Let's go to... Turn the squelch. That's PMR. Turn this all the way down. Yeah, we're on a repeater there, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is the microphone for this. Got a load of buttons and numbers on it. We'll see if we get in in here in a sec. We should, we should get in. I'll just get a radio check because I've not been on for a bit. So we'll just try and get a radio check. Hello, Ridley. We'll just try and get a radio check if we can, guys. Break. That's PMR. Uh, somebody wants a box of chips. they've got gone now anyway i'm not a big lover of two liters uh 70 centimeters i'm not a big lover of it i thought i would have been uh when i first bought the radios i thought i would have been but so when i first did my exam i thought i would have been but i'm not a big lover of it and this big boat anchor here the other boat anchor that is my yesu ft101e uh am and ssb transceiver no fm on this this is just ssb and am and uh very very well made it's got a valve uh, a valve uh, final stage in this as well very well made transceiver we've got a little we've got a, what do you call it there a studio mic there 
uh, got some headphones there. There's my my uh, Sony reel to reel. Uh, that reel I had, I had two of those made. Uh, cheers, Jules. It's a nice transceiver. You mean that big one? Uh, the 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 big Yesu. Yeah, it's a nice transceiver. That Jules. It needs a service because it's a bit deaf. I think the I think the, I think the main IF transistor needs to be replaced. It's a bit deaf. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a bit deaf at the moment, so there'll be a video on that as soon as I source the bits. <laughs> There's my, uh, just move me cup out the way. There's my Armstrong amplifier. Uh, mine's a bit more modern than the one Harvey's got. Uh, and there's scraps over there on the sofa. There's my homemade arcade machine with all my clothes on it, all my junk. Which is gotta get I've gotta get back to that soon. I've got a pair of Goodman speakers. You all want to see what's in the front room, don't you? I don't really want to show you because oh, oh, let's just see how this is doing. Turn this back up. Let's turn these radios, this power supply off. Those radios, there we go. Let's turn this back up and I know when it's at the end of the record. There we go. I'll press the B side button. <laughs> and it'll automatically switch over. Uh, both sides play, there we go. Right, okay guys, I'll show you what I've got. Let's go through the front room. Just pull me trousers up. I don't be trousers. Excuse the. I've I've not tidied up in here, guys. No, don't be hard on me. We'll start here. Uh, there's my. That's my router. Just shift that for a minute. There's my lovely old Garrard Zero One Hundred. Not been used for ages. He's due a run. And underneath that, I've got a realistic amplifier, a Pioneer tape deck, a Sony tuner, and uh, a Technic CD player. Let's put that router back on the top of there because it seems to work better on the top of there for some daft reason. There's me MB60 and me, me Bush uh, AC41. There's my lovely old Decker Compact 4 Music Centre. It has the stand and the speakers, as you can see, and a few cobwebs. That's how much time I don't spend in here, guys. There's that tuner we had on the bench that Eve kit the other week. There's the original, Clark, there's the old Clark and Smith, which hasn't been, there we go. That's the Clark and Smith. My George Formby collection is under there. Some there and some in that case there. And there's my, uh, one of my Sansui S50 speakers. There's my other one. Uh, my Bush, my Bush, uh, uh, my Bush, uh, what is it? TR82C. We've got a couple of radios up on here. The Murphy, there's there's Shrek. Shrek's still up there. Uh, there's the Bush TR130. And that's about it guys. There's not really much. There's not really much else. You know, there's not really much else really. I mean those tables could do with a polish. There's not really much else to show you. You know, let's get back in here. Get my house back on my chair. There we go. This should change sides in a minute. Yeah. And what I'll do,
when it stop when it when the record finishes, I'll hold it on pause for a second. I mean, I, I might have to turn the tape over to get some to get the rest of them on. They won't fit on that. I should have used a C90. There we go. Right, that's now selected the B side. When it starts playing, I'll release the pause button. There we go. Cheers, cheers uh, SDEX. Yeah, a lot of it doesn't get used though because I don't sit in this room. I don't, well, I'm in here sometimes, but I don't sit in that, I never sit in the front room. That's why my tables haven't been polished. <coughs> but I spend all my time in the workshop, I mean. Let's just turn that record level down, because that's a bit louder on that channel. the level because I know I've played about with it so but that's it guys that's uh, now playing the b-side So this is working reliably now since I bypassed that relay. That relay is a bad idea. And that's the record that's currently playing, guys. Uh, the Lady Killers and the album's called Peep. I will link into the description if I can. Um, I'll probably have to do that on the computer. But I will link into the description. Uh, the website yeah yeah but they all signed it for me as well so yeah that was a nice touch it's nice to get the original speakers for this as well I got them off Kevin. Uh, I got them off Kevin uh, uh, Access Area 6 ages ago. Um, it was nice of him to give me them because uh, they look better with the original speakers because they match it. Yeah. He's not a bad singer now, Mark, is he? Not a bad singer. And the nice thing about this, it's all done using analog technology, uh, this album, and they're all singing and playing the instruments. You know, there's no, uh, no, no modern gizmos as such. And there's the, what do you call it, guys? There's the Amstrad executive speakers. Yeah, they have a knob on them for adjusting the centre position, uh, for adjusting the mid-range speaker. 
There's not much else I can show you. There's not really much else I can show you guys. I wish there was. Uh, we've got a disco unit down there. That was the one I repaired the mixer on. Remember, I replaced the IC and two volume controls, I think. Or one volume control. We've got a box of stuff there, boxes full of stuff there. There's a load of crap over there. Hi Andy, we are in the push room today, yeah? Hello uh, Paul and hello Janice. Uh, Jan, sorry, I know you like to be called Jan. Yeah? So that's it guys, uh, yeah we've got, uh, oh I forgot to show you that, a uh, little sharp TV radio cassette, uh, that was refurbished, I got that from a friend, it does house clearances, it... that stuck then, sure it did, might have a, might have a bit of crap on the record. Yeah, it did, it got stuck, it stuck for a second, I'm sure it did. Yeah. But that's my little, uh, my little sharp uh, TV radio cassette, that works well. That's all right if you want a black and white telly for some reason, and a radio cassette. I mean, back in the day they were good. You know, but the, the, the radio's still usable and the cassette's still usable, but the telly really isn't. Not unless you plug stuff in through the RF. But yeah, that's it guys, that's a bit of a tour of... There's my power supply, I run my CBs and stuff from, uh, which is a Zorik... I can't remember the model, it says it there. DP3 2512. And that says yeah it's 25 amp a uh, bit nice big 25 amp linear power supply which is what we want guys we don't want switch modes we want linears much better not as much not as noisy nowhere near as noisy yeah well, that plays well that guys it works really good Yeah, we're getting near the end there now, look guys. Hey, we've got one likes. Wow. Not bad, I suppose. Yeah, we've got a nice little compartment. I don't know why it's sticking. I don't know why it's sticking. I wonder if it's holding on me. It's lubricating or something. Oh, sod it. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why, I think the toenail might need lubricating. I'm not sure. Because the record's definitely not scratched. Definitely not. Let's see how our tape sounds. Don't know why it's stuck. Might have a bit of crap on the record. I'll have a look in a minute. Let's rewind the tape. 
rewinds pretty quick. Look at that. Uh, is that on pause or? No, no, I stopped it. Let's have a look at this record. Because that shouldn't stick. It's got little scratches on. It's hardly been played. Well, don't know why it's stuck. It didn't stick at all. Uh, hang on. Yeah, we got some. Yeah, we got some crap on the record there, guys. Yeah, the record needs a clean. Yeah, you can see it's got some crap on it. Yeah, that's what's doing that. That'll do it. Looks like grease, to be honest, from my greasy fingers. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's got grease on it, guys. It needs a good cleaning. I've actually... Look, look at this here. Uh, oh, it was, it was the B side it stuck on, wasn't it? I'm looking at the A side. It needs a clean there. Look at that. Yeah, it needs a good cleaning, guys. That's what that is. Yeah, it needs a good cleaning. We'll, we'll attend to that. Yeah. Yeah, it was trap feet stuck on, wasn't it? One step closer to Clifford. Yeah, it's trap feet stuck on, so. Let's have a look around trap feet. It's a bit. It doesn't. Yeah, it is. It's a bit. Uh, yeah. Needs cleaning, guys. It's. I thought it was cleaner than that. It definitely needs a clean. So that's why it's sticking. So what we'll do, we'll put it back in its sleeve, which is going to be awkward. Where is its sleeve? It's here. Because I played the Shadows record on that yesterday, and it played perfect all the way through. So I think it's the record needs cleaning. Uh, yeah, it's got my grubby prints, and God knows what's found its way onto it, so... Yeah, we 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 we'll we give the record a clean. We'll give the record a clean. Let's put it there for now. We'll give the record a clean. Because uh, we played that shadow. Hang on, let me just check the styluses. After we reopen it again in a minute, see if the bit sure it's, the stylus is even clean. Because these are very sensitive, you know. If there's a, a bit of shit on... The way you check the stylus on this, you open it, and then you press... You press the forward button. And what it'll do... Yeah, I think we could do with cleaning them, couldn't we, guys? And you can see there, yeah, look at all that crap on that A-side one. I think that's just blew it off. Yeah, that's got it. And the B-side one, it's easier looking at them in the, on the phone than it is sticking your head in there. Yeah, look at that big lump of shit there, guys. That would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's just see if I can pick it off. I did have a stylus cleaning brush. I think I can fucking see it there. That's got it. Now let's have a look at that. There you go. That's got it. And then you just press the close button. And it'll take the arms back. I'll get the proper stuff after the stylist brush and clean it. But I always help the door up because of the gears. Right, so let's press our let's press our play.
see what it's recorded like off the radio. See what them turn that tape over. Uh, see if the levels are any different. Uh, you. I press the wrong button. I expect rewind to be over this side where it normally is, but it's not. It's over this side on these. strong station there press that see it's the same on that you see it's the same on that one's higher than the other and just turn them down a bit so I might have not put them on in the correct place because that's level now because that's mono so we know that's level so I think what I might have done Yeah, this one here. Let's turn it slightly that way. Uh, let's try that in the centre. Let's try that in the centre. There we go, guys. We're right in the centre pretty much now. Yeah. So it was just slightly off. Yeah, just slightly off to one side. There you go. I'm not going to play it because I'll get copyright struck. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, I think. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let's just... There we go. I'm, I'm going to move my hand. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Because uh, I've got an air fryer to mess with. Uh, I'm not, not repairing it. I'm going to work out how the damn well you use it. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining me. And uh, catch me in the next one. And uh, uh, thank you to Mark and all the other members at, uh, of the Lady Killers Band for allowing me to freely uh, use their material. And uh, I will put a link to their uh, channel in a bit, guys. Because uh, so, they've got a lot of stuff on there. There's... So, but there's a lot of songs on there that they've done. I want a snaffle. Uh, I've not been snaffling for ages, so I might do a snaffling mission this afternoon and go a snaffling. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave you to it, guys. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me. And uh, my cup's over there. I think I might put another cup of coffee in that. And uh, thank you very much for joining me. And... Uh, uh, join me tonight about 7.30 uh, where we'll be in our usual regular spot back in the workshop. Thank you very much guys and you all take care and enjoy your good Friday and uh, enjoy your whole bank holiday even and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now guys. Bye Jules honey. Uh, how do you stop this damn thing? Uh, oh, you press that. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes.